Barbie doll, and I don't want to be a Barbie doll. I don't want to be a fucking princess. I want to be revolutionary, and I have a fucking. Woo! We're gonna have to put you know, like proletarian feminist politics you know, like, into the mix because being an oppressed nationality woman um, in New York City, I think that it's really important within our daily lives to learn about proletarian feminism and to really understand it. We can really talk about how um, the question of gender liberation, the question of um, working class power in society, are inseparable questions. It's it's gonna be double where it's like, oh, I can't do this because I'm a woman. I can't do this because I'm privileged. I'm not privileged at all. I don't I don't have the resources, I don't have the money to do what I want to do. One of the ways that uh, we can engage in proletarian feminist practice is of course, right, study. And, and the question of curriculum control, yeah, we want um, people to be taking women's studies classes, gender studies classes. And so what proletarian feminism, what we do is you go to the communities and you figure out what they need to make sure that their kids are well provided for. Also, going back to school and, you know, have the education that they need to, you know, raise them with more knowledge that, you know, you can't get any elsewhere. Proletarian feminism understands class-based society as a, as a root of patriarchy. We gotta break this kind of, like, instill dichotomy in the household. Like, mom is always doing stuff. How do we liberate women from patriarchal society and abolishing by class society? I think it starts with like building with the like working class and then right around working class issues, around the issues of like the most oppressed sectors of society rather than like playing into the whole like narrative of like the success story. Like, oh, my God.